That's an Oreodont. It's uh, related to the sheep and it's out of my ranch in Nebraska. 35, 40 million years old. And what's the name of this place? Uh, it's a uh, natural history museum that Dolly has at Camp Bayou. This is Camp Bayou. And this is the Paleo Preserve. And over there is a Titanothere leg. You said rhino. A real primitive rhino called a Titanothere. Yeah, it's a humerus. It's the arm bone right up here. And I have his elbow right here in the jacket. Right there. That's you say you dug around it and then uh, put yep. the stuff in just to hold right. it all in place? And then what, it, what you do is dig all around it and expose the bone and then go ahead and treat it, paint it with a, with a temporary treatment, then put aluminum foil on it, and then put plaster with burlap over it. It makes a temporary carrying case. Almost a cast. Like right, a that's exactly what it is. And then as I treat it and making this thing hard, and then I'm taking this down, taking it off, and as I take it off, I treat it some more, and eventually the whole thing will come out in one piece. So now, is that the actual bone, or is that is just... The actual, it's, it, well, it's been replaced. That's what I wanted. This it's is just replaced, dirt. Uh, yeah, it's been replaced with minerals 35, 40 million years ago. So the, these things that we were holding and collecting, are they the bones, or are they the fossils the of the bone? Yeah, they're replacements. You're right. They're not the actual real, 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 real bone. Is that it's, true of all the dinosaur bones we find? Oh, yes, absolutely. Replacement. Yeah, they're replaced with the minerals that they're buried with. Just like in Australia, they find... I have a clam that, darn it, I should have brought today, but I have a clam that came from Australia and it uh, was buried in a, in a riverbed that makes opals. So therefore the clam became an opal. So they replace whatever they're buried with. Oh, that's fascinating. And there's a fossil in there called uh, an ammonite and it was buried in uh, fool's gold, so it's replaced with fool's gold. But it's shaped like uh, whatever it is. Oh yeah, it's got the fossil shape and everything. It's just Ve the water the water acts as a vehicle and what water does when when a bone is in the ground but you have to have water is the most important combination uh, when it's in the ground with water water acts as a vehicle and what the water does it transports the minerals that surrounding the bone it transports into the bone and replaces the bone with that mineral and see it's got the chambered nautilus see I thought that was jewelry was I didn't realize that was cut in half with a diamond saw see that and some of it is replaced, let's see, you can see some of the, barely see some, see right in there, opalized a little bit. That one is pretty. Don't, 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 don't touch anything. And let me close this. What? And I'm going to show you the ammonite. This is the, this is the ammonite, it's pyrotized. They call it pyrotized, look at that. Pyrotized. See that? Oh, that's fascinating. Isn't that cool? And that's, that's literally just, you can see there in pyrite right there. The, uh, yeah, by fool's gold, see it? It's fool's gold. That there in pyrite. Okay. That's very cool. What is this? Yes. That's an amber, there's insects in there. That's a sea biscuit. Hey guys, That's a sea go. biscuit called uh, Echinoid. Okay? And that yeah, is a quartz crystal. Here. And that is an, a rib the of an elephant. Come back on the table. And that is part Where's of a Carcharodon megalodon giant um, shark. All right, there's a piece of elephant leg. That's mine. Yeah, this is a mouth plate of a stingray. And that's a turtle leg bone. Yeah. And this is a quartz crystal, and there's another quartz crystal, and there's a shark's tooth, Carcharodon megalodon, related to the great white shark, and there's another one, and then there's a turtle shell. Cool. Very cool. Yeah. This was a turtle bone? Uh, yeah, part of a turtle can I, leg. Can I get mine? In a minute. I'm taking a picture here. I'm trying to remember what they are. That is just really cool. You can actually see the... Oh, yeah. That thing was would have been that big. Probably would have been about 15 feet across. The uh, Huge stingray. They had some monsters. I've seen some mouth plates that were as big as footballs. And when you said this is elephant. That's part of an elephant leg. You mean elephant or do you mean mammoth or what? Is Either, it the same? It's probably mastodon because I got this in the phosphate mine. So. Thank you, Mr. Uh, you're welcome. It was my pleasure.